Hi, I am Rahul Charles. Today we are going to discuss some of the basic concepts regarding general description of vehicle movement. Let us first discuss the dynamics of electric and hybrid vehicles. We all know the vehicle operation and performance can be studied by understanding the dynamics of vehicle which involves the basic principles of physics especially the Newton's second law of motion and according to that law the acceleration of an object is proportional to the net force exerted on it here the propulsion unit of the vehicle delivers the force necessary to move the vehicle forward and this force of propulsion unit helps the vehicle to overcome the resisting forces due to gravity air and tire resistance and the acceleration of the vehicle depends on the power delivered by the propulsion unit the road condition the aerodynamics of the vehicle the composite mass of the vehicle let us discuss the general description of vehicle movement for analyzing the vehicle movement we have to analyze the forces acting on it in the direction of motion the forces acting on a vehicle moving in a grade or in a, a slopey surface is determined by one is the tractive force which is in the contact area between the tires of the driven vehicles and the road surface which propels the vehicle forward and this force is produced by the engine which is transferred to the driving wheels via the transmission and the final drive when the vehicle moves it uh, encounters a resistive force that tries to retard its motion the main resistive forces are rolling resistance aerodynamic drag uphill resistance in certain case we are using another resistance in the analysis called acceleration resistance so this is the diagram which shows the forces acting on a vehicle which is going in uphill trf is the tractive effort exerted by the front wheel and trr is the tractive effort exerted by the rear wheel using the newton's second law of motion the vehicle acceleration can be expressed by this formula dv by dt equal to sigma ft minus sigma f, f resistance divided by delta m where v is the vehicle speed sigma ft is the total tractive effort sigma f resistance is the total resistance m is the total mass of the vehicle delta is the mass factor for converting the rotational inertia of rotating components into translational mass so here there are two forces one is the tractive effort and the other is the total driving resistance and this total driving resistance is the sum of force due to rolling resistance to aerodynamic drag three grading resistance and four acceleration resistance before going to the details of rolling resistance we have to know the moment of force moment is the measure of the capacity or ability of the force to produce twisting or turning effect about an axis and the magnitude of moment is equal to the product of force and perpendicular distance from the axis to the line of action of force the intersection of the plane and the axis is commonly called moment center and the perpendicular distance from the moment center to the line of action of force is called momenta here the moment m of force f about point o is equal to the product of f and d d is the distance and f is the force now we are going to the first resistance that is rolling resistance so normally whenever we search the best tires for our vehicle we have run across the phrase called tire rolling resistance and it has some particular impact on tire buying decision when you press down on the acceleration in your vehicle you are essentially transferring energy in the form of electricity in the case of electric vehicle or gas depending on your automobile through the engine 
and other systems in your vehicle. That results in your tires turning and you have enough moment, momentum is being built up to move your automobile. To accomplish this, your vehicle must overcome a lot of different factors that can make it resistant to forward movement. One of those factors is the tires rolling resistance. Tire rolling resistance is the energy that your vehicle needs to send to your tires to maintain movement at a consistent speed over a surface. In other words, it is the effort required to keep a tire rolling. Now, what is the difference between rolling resistance and hysteresis? The main contributor to rolling resistance is the process known as hysteresis. Hysteresis is actually the energy loss that occurs as the tire rolls through its footprint. This energy loss must be overcome by the vehicle's engine which results in wasted fuel. Rolling resistance is going to happen whenever a tire makes contact with a road surface. And although it can be minimized but it cannot be avoided because whenever a tire makes contact with a road surface rolling resistance occurs. Since the rolling resistance is caused by hysteresis tires can be engineered with some specially formulated tread compounds that are more resistant to heat generation and constructed to minimize tire deflection for less energy loss. These are known as low rolling resistance tires. It is mainly caused by the non-elastic effects that is not at all the energy needed for the movement of the wheel and is recovered when the pressure is removed. The tire as you know it is like a spring or rubber band some of the energy stored as tire becomes compressed when you move the vehicle as the tire comes back off the road there is not as much as the stored energy return because some of it has gone towards making the tire heat up. This loss of available energy due to heating is called hysteresis. This means there will be less energy available to make the bike go faster. Depending on the vehicle it varies. And this is the diagram showing the uh, rolling resistance where capital R indicates the rolling resistance. And it is a reaction force from the surface having a component that opposes the motion. F is some vertical load on the axis. Sorry, W is the some vertical load on the axle. F is some towing force applied to the axle. R is the wheel radius. And both friction with the ground and friction at the axle are assumed to be negligible. Here, capital R is the resultant force from non-uniform pressure at the wheel road bed contact surface. This pressure is greater towards the front of the wheel due to hysteresis. This diagram indicates the pressure distribution in contact area considering to the rolling resistance and the lower figure indicates the hysteresis that is deformation versus force. And this hysteresis causes an asymmetric distribution of the ground reaction force. This force acting on a wheel versus deformation in loading and unloading on a hard surface. Now, the scenario of the rolling tire is indicated by this figure. When the tire rolls, the leading half of the contact area is loading and the trailing half is unloading. Thus, the pressure on the leading half is greater than the pressure on the trailing half. This phenomenon results in ground reaction force shifting upward or forward. This creates a moment that opposes rolling of the wheels. The moment produced by forward shift of the resultant ground reaction force is called rolling resistant moment. TR is the rolling resistant which is equal to P into A where P is the normal load acting on the center of the rolling wheel in Newton and A is the deformation of the tire in meter, capital M is the mass of the vehicle and G is the acceleration constant. TR equal to PA which is equal to MG into A. From that 
എഫ് ആർ ഈക്വൽ ടു ടി ആർ ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ ആർ ഡൈനാമിക് ആർ ഡൈനാമിക് ഈസ് ഡൈനാമിക് റേഡിയസ് ഓഫ് ദി ടയർ ക്യാപിറ്റൽ പി ഈസ് ദി നോർമൽ ലോഡ് ആക്ടിംഗ് ഓൺ ദി സെൻറ്റർ ഓഫ് ദി റോളിംഗ് വീൽ ടി ആർ ഈസ് ദി റോളിംഗ് റെസിസ്റ്റൻസ് The rolling resistance moment can be equivalently replaced by a horizontal force acting on the wheel center in the direction opposite to the movement of the wheel. This equivalent force is called rolling resistance and its magnitude is given by Fr equal to P into Fr. Now this rolling resistance coefficient is a function of tire material, tire structure, tire temperature, tire inflation pressure, tread geometry, road roughness, road material, presence of absence of liquids. on the road next is the aerodynamic drive a vehicle traveling at a particular speed in air encounters some force and the main causes of aerodynamic drag are shape drag and skin effect in shape drag it relates to the shape of the vehicle that means whenever the forward motion of the vehicle moves it pushes the air in front of it and air cannot instantaneously move out of the way and its pressure is thus de- increased resulting in high pressure in addition the air behind the vehicle cannot instantaneously fill the space left by the forward motion of the vehicle this creates a zone of low air pressure and high pressure in front of the vehicle and low pressure developed at the rear of the vehicle the resultant force on the vehicle causes shape drag high pressure in front of the vehicle and low pressure at the rear of the vehicle skin friction or skin effect as the air close to the skin of the vehicle moves almost at the speed of the vehicle while air far away from the vehicle remains still in between air molecules move at a wide range of speeds this difference in speed between two air molecules produces a friction which results in the second component of aerodynamic drag so aerodynamic drag is the uh, components mainly it comes of two components component due to shape drag and component due to skin effect that is f w equal to half rho af cd v square where v is the vehicle speed depending on the type of vehicle we get different values of coefficient of aerodynamic resistance here this formula f w equal to half rho a f c d v square actually this v is equal to v plus v w where v is the vehicle speed and v w is the wind velocity now we move to the third part grading resistance when a vehicle goes up or down a slope its weight produces some component which is directed to the downward direction this force component opposes the forward motion that is called grade climbing when the vehicle goes down the grade this force component helps the vehicle motion it is calculated or it is expressed by fg equal to m g sin alpha m is the mass of the vehicle g is the acceleration constant and alpha is the road angle in order to simplify the calculation we have taken the road angle as alpha and there is opposite side is h and l is the base part so sin alpha can be taken as h by l and we have taken an approximation that sin alpha approximately equal to tan alpha considering the road angle is small
in some case it is expressed as the road resistance is expressed as the tire rolling resistance and grading resistance combined together as the road resistance that is FRD equal to FF plus FG now the acceleration resistance this acceleration resistance normally occurs in steady state motion where inertial forces occur during acceleration and braking the total mass of the vehicle and inertial mass of those rotating parts of the vehicle accelerated or braked are the factors influencing the resistance to acceleration it is given by the formula fa equal to m plus sigma j rot divided by r dynamic square into dv by dt where m is the mass of the vehicle j rot is the inertia of rotational components v is the speed of the vehicle r dynamic is the uh, dynamic radius of the tire acceleration resistance can be simplified as fa equal to lambda m dv by dt so the total driving resistance is the sum of the force due to rolling resistance, aerodynamic drag, grading resistance, acceleration resistance. F resistance equal to FR plus FW plus FG plus FA or F alpha. So these are the main driving forces and it is sum of force due to rolling resistance, aerodynamic drag, grading resistance and acceleration resistance. I have referred the PDFs from NPTEL website related to electric and hybrid vehicle and other uh, PDFs from websites. Thank you.